Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and in today's video we're doing something a little different. We're going to be doing some styling for my subscribers. So if this is something you're interested in watching, just keep on watching and if you're not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at Hannah Naylor. Without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, if you would have caught my community board, I posted a few weeks back asking if you had photos of your console table or entry table sideboard that you were struggling on styling to submit it to my Facebook group. And I got quite a few of you guys reaching out and submitting your photos for me to help you in this general area. So within this video, I selected five of my subscribers, which thank you so much for all of your guys' photos and thank you for allowing me to use your homes in this video. And I'm gonna showcase how I replicate their styles and then what I would change in order to make it that much better so everybody's styles were absolutely beautiful you guys did a great job I just tweaked a couple things here and there and to give you guys a little bit of inspiration on ways to just elevate these areas that you are struggling on styling so I hope you get some inspiration I will do my best to link anything down in the description box so just look by by style so if there's something you see that you want to check out for yourself everything is down below but without further ado you guys let's get into these styles Okay, so we're gonna be starting with Kim Lewis's photo. She sent me a picture of her living room and this is the console table that backs her sofa. Currently what she has is just one arrangement. So I'm going to try to do my best to replicate what we start with in these photos with my own decor and then show you guys how I change them. So within this style, what I'm planning to do is just add a little bit more. She does have the length working for her. She can have different groupings within her console table. So the first decor element we are going to be bringing to Kim's style is a lamp. I think lighting is really important when it comes to styling a console table and a sideboard. It just adds layer and obviously lighting. So I'm going to be adding a black target lamp to the left here. Now for most of us, we don't have outlets on the ground or anywhere near our sofa. So to make things simple and to be able to have this lamp be functional, I have a tip. I will use rechargeable light bulbs. They are amazing. You can hang them. And this is really great for situations like this where you don't have an outlet to actually have this lamp be functional. So I will always use these for you know situations like this. And not only are they great for decorating purposes, they're also really great for emergency as well. So if you have your electricity go out you have a simple option for some lighting next aspect we are utilizing coffee table books these are going to be your best friend when it comes to styling they add layer they add visual interest and they just add a way to rise some of your existing decor so I am using the kinfolk home and homebody next aspect we are adding to this style is we're gonna bring in a little faux greenery I wish I had a different pop this is just from Ikea and we're gonna just set this right on top of the coffee table book Next aspect we're gonna be adding to this style is a black bowl. In my photo, I have a black pedestal bowl, so if you have one, I'm just utilizing what I have, and this is a beautiful little black profile bowl from Target. So we're just gonna set that guy in the center, like so. For the right side of the console table, we are going to be utilizing some more coffee table books. I have Habitat as well as another homebody book. We're gonna be adding a beautiful vase with some faux stems. Now the vase is from Target. This is from the new Studio McGee collection and then I bought these stems at a boutique. So we're gonna stack this right on top of the coffee table book. By placing the vase on top of the books, it is going to add a little bit of balance between the both sides. As you guys can see, we have high and high here. So it goes high, low, and then high again. Lots of visual interest. There's lots of colors. We're playing with textures. Hopefully, Kim, I hope you love. I hope this helps you when it comes to styling your console table. That is the first subscriber's console table. that we are working with is Cindy. Cindy sent me a picture of her sideboard that has a really beautiful piece of artwork above it. So I did my best to replicate Cindy's decor. And while Cindy is in a really great direction with her styling, I feel like there's a couple things that she could tweak, very minor details that she could tweak in order to make her sideboard styling that much better. So the first thing that stood out to me was her scale. So starting on this side, the pot is just too undersized for her sideboard. Her sideboard 
headboard is a little bit larger, so I feel like she could really beef up her decor elements. So that is this side. So another thing that I wanted to work with on this particular style is the mix of greenery. Now I think you can definitely mix greenery, but you have to kind of stay somewhat in the same family. Within her style, she has the olive bush behind me, and then she also brought in a really like bright colored green house, what looks like a house plant. So we're just gonna tweak it a little bit and give this sideboard just a little bit of life. All right, first element to Cindy's sideboard is we're going to be adding in a lamp. Next, we're going to be adding in some coffee table books. I'm just gonna utilize the same ones. I have Habitat and Homebody, and we're just gonna put those right next to our lamp like so. All right, so the next element we are adding is a item to go on top of her coffee table books. Now, in my example, I have a knot. I don't own a knot. I have marble links instead. So instead of having them like this, I'm actually just gonna kind of put them bundled up together and just set those right on top of her books. So the next decor pieces we are adding, we are gonna be bringing in some brass candle holders. These are from Hobby Lobby, and I got them in the tall, the medium, and the small. And we're just gonna place those clustered together on the right hand side of the sideboard. And adding to it, we're just gonna be adding some plain white taper candlesticks. And then the last element we're gonna be adding is a rather large piece to this console table. I think with uh, Cindy's situation, she just needed something that had a little bit more size to it. The other pot that she had originally was just a little bit too small for her space. So Cindy, I would recommend bringing in something a little bit beefier for your sideboard. And I hope you enjoy the style that I came up with for your sideboard. going to be helping is Donna. Donna sent in a photo of what looks like her entryway. She has a rather small entry table with a open bottom. Now, as much as I love what Donna has done with her de decor styling, I think the biggest thing is she has too much on such a small surface. I love all the decor elements she has because to be honest, I was almost able to replicate her style to the T. So obviously we share that in common, Donna. If you have been with me for a while, you will know I will always take a less is more approach. I feel like a lot of people overdo it. They try to put too much on a surface when really all you have to do is just dumb it down. Take away a couple things and I'm telling you, it will allow for your space to breathe, for your eyes to focus. And so that is exactly what we're gonna do with Donna's style. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing with Donna's styles, we're actually going to keep one of the lamps. She obviously has some height in her lamps. So what I'm gonna do on the left side of these styles, we're going to be bringing in some coffee table books. I have Homebody and the Kinfolk. I'm staying with the same coffee table books to keep things simple. So we're just gonna set that right to the right of the lamp. Now on the right side of the style, I'm going to be bringing in a piece of artwork. Now I suggest for Donna to be bringing in something a little bit larger. The style that she has currently, the print is just a little bit undersized for the space. So don't be afraid to beef up your artwork and we're gonna just set that to the right side of the entryway. Next, we're gonna be utilizing the same exact vase that she has. This is the Pottery Barn vessel and it's got a really beautiful handle here. We're gonna just stick that to the right side of the artwork. Next, we're gonna be bringing in some stems. These are three stems and they are a ficus stem from Amazon. I will make sure to link everything I can down below, but we're gonna stick these in the vase. And the very last aspect we're gonna be adding is a larger geocrystal. Now within Donna's first style, she has a pedestal bowl with a bunch of the geocrystals, which I love. But instead of having that, I figured it would be beautiful to just bring one statement piece in, and that's gonna be this extra large geocrystal right next to the vase. All right, Donna, so that is it for your style. I hope you enjoyed what I came up with. Do not be afraid to take a less is more approach. I always recommend you guys to take away some things and try to have a little bit more breathing space when it comes to your surfaces. We kept things very simple here. We're still utilizing a lot of the elements that Donna has in her home, utilizing the taller lamps, the vase, the stems, geocrystals, and an artwork piece, but we just brought it to a little bit more of a minimal approach, and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. Sound off in the comments what you guys think of Donna's style, but let's get into the next one.
All right, so our next subscriber is Rosemary. And Rosemary actually stated, mine is boring. And don't worry, Rosemary, we're gonna help you out. Essentially within her style, she has a really beautiful piece of artwork above her table. She has one bowl and then she has a hobnail planter in what looks like a wooden caddy uh, next to that on the bottom. So we are going to definitely help you with styling your space. Her artwork above her table is really pretty, so I don't want to distract and take away from that piece. So the decor on the bottom is actually gonna be very simple, but let's get into it. So the first element I'm going to be adding to Rosemary Styles, we're gonna be bringing in some stacked boxes. Now within my example, I added brass boxes. I don't have brass, so we're gonna be utilizing uh, some of my checkered ones that I got from TJ Maxx. So we're gonna put those on the left side of her entry table. All right, the next element we're gonna be bringing to Rosemary's entry table is a larger vase. So her console table is black. So you guys will see in this style, I'm keeping everything rather light, just so that there is contrast between her entry table and the decor on top of it, as well as she does have some darker, cooler tones within her artwork. So we're gonna do one bigger vessel. I'm then going to add those same vases from Target. I have the large one and the small one. And we're just gonna pair those with the larger Pottery Barn vase, kind of doing a cluster of them on the right-hand side. And then for the stems, I thought it would be really beautiful to bring in a floral for Rosemary. Within my example, I have a magnolia because I think it plays really nicely with the colors, the darker as well as the print that she has above the table. But I'm gonna be utilizing these cherry blossoms that I got from Target and I have a total of three of them. And the last element we are gonna be adding to Miss Rosemary's entry table is some wicker baskets. I think there needs to be a little bit more formality within her entry table. So I think bringing in some cohesive baskets underneath is going to break up the darker tones of her entry table and just add a little bit more texture so we're going to add these to the bottom all right rosemary and that is it for your style i hope this helps you when it comes to styling your entry table i love your table i love your artwork everything is beautiful and i hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration for decorating your space and let's move on to the last and final styles for one of my subscribers In our very last and final style for one of our subscribers who is Andrea. Andrea sent me a picture of a really beautiful reclaimed console table that her and her husband actually made. Their inspiration was Restoration Hardware. This console table sits behind her sofa and she stated that she has been struggling on how to decorate after Christmas, but she also likes to keep a rather minimal look. So I did my best to recreate her style. She had a beautiful vase on top of an architectural digest book with a thing of Kleenex. She also had in the center a what looks like a Christmas or a winter type vase in the center. And then towards the left of me, she had a trio set of black wrought iron candlestick holders. So while I think she's in the right direction, I think it just needs to add a little bit more pizzazz. And this table looks rather long, so you guys need to take in consideration when you are styling your tables. Whatever surface that might be, you need to take your length into consideration. If your surface is shorter in length, you obviously cannot fit that much stuff on it. But if you have a very long table, you can obviously have more room to play and add more things to it to have a really beautiful curated space. So let's get into styling Andrea's table. The first element we're gonna be adding to Miss Andrea's style is we're gonna be bringing in that black target lamp. Like I had stated in the previous style, make sure to bring that contrast when it comes to your tones. If you have a lighter tone uh, for a table, make sure to bring darker tones to the top. So that's exactly what we're gonna do for Miss Andrea. And we're gonna use that same trick by the rechargeable light bulb. Next, we're gonna be adding in our coffee table books. We're bringing our home body and our kinfolk home just to the right of that lamp. The next aspect we are adding to go on top of the coffee table books is this really beautiful terracotta bowl and I have some dried pods on top for more of an organic look. Based on her photos, 
and the decor that I saw in the background, it seems like she has more of an organic approach to her styling, so that's kind of the direction I went for Andrea. Next, we're gonna be bringing in a small piece of artwork. This is from Hobby Lobby, and in my example, I have an actual artwork stand. So this actually is gonna stand just upright, but within my style, I actually have it on like a little pedestal for display. So we're just gonna put the artwork on the right-hand side of the console. Next to elements for Andrea, we're gonna be bringing in a round riser. This is just a primitive, hand carved riser made from India. And then I'm just gonna be adding a beautiful white candle for that. And then the last element for this style is a pot. This is a uh, vintage vessel that I have so many of them. I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing them, but I love this for the size and the color against the natural. And then I picked up these stems from a local boutique here in San Diego. So this is going to go to the right of this cluster. And there you have it, Andrea. I hope you enjoyed this style. Don't be afraid to utilize the long console table that you have. You have so much space that you can still have a minimal look, but just adding a little bit more visual interest to your space. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you got some ideas for styling your console table. And that is the last style of this video. today's video I hope you enjoyed coming along for these styles a huge thank you to everybody who not only submitted their photos for me but allowed me to utilize your photos within this video and to showcase ways to elevate your space the spaces that you are struggling with on decorating thank you for allowing me to be a part of that and to give you guys a little bit of my feedback hopefully came as some help, not only for the subscribers that were selected for this video, but those of you who are watching. But until next time, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you for being here, and we'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.